Okay, um, I see one comment from Saeed. He says, Hi K, when you look for a buying edge in a lower time frame, 15 minutes for example, do you wait until the price breaks the previous higher lower high before you enter the trade? Uh, my answer is no. I don't wait for the breakouts on the resistance and support in, the, in 15, 1 hour or any time frames. Because, um, so here is the mindset of my strategy is that the, um, so I look for the trading timing. Hold on, let me adjust the microphone. As I look for an entry timing, uh, simply what I do is uh, as long as higher to mid time frames are trending, then most likely the lower time frame breaks the resistance is my mindset. Because it's only the 5 or the 15 minute time frames. And these are very low, very low time frames as compared to daily or 4 hour or even the weekly time frames. So fakes do happen on the lower time frames. So um, even if you see the breakout, it may be fake and the market may be worse. So, and as long as I can find the entry edge, the entry confirmation on 15 minute time frame or the 5 minute time frame, then I enter trade and expect the market breaks the resistance if it's bullish in higher time frames. If it's bearish, it's very versa. Yeah, um, I know why you ask this question because I was also waiting for the breakout in the lower time frame, waiting for the breakout and waiting for the retest to happen and buy or sell. And as I wait for that, sometimes it happens, but sometimes it just goes and uh, you know uh, it, there is no retest. For example, on this uh, Euro uh, Euro USD, this is back in uh, 5th of July on the daily time frame, it broke the support. So in theory, in textbook, we wait for the uh, pullback and sell, right? That's from textbook. But now I don't do it because the market also may continuously go down this way. So as long as I, get, I can get the entry confirmation here, then I, look, I take the sell. In fact, in this case, the market just went up, went down continuously without any pullback. It just kept going down this way. And this happens. This happens on any markets. So I don't either wait for the retrace, I don't wait for the breakout either. This is example on the daily chart, but uh, if this for the 5 minute, and if I'm, let's say, at here, for example, as long as I can find the entry confirmation here, I sell. So let's see. The way I look for an entry confirmation is by the bondage bands and stochastics, and now I can see dead cross, I can see the bands about expanding, and looks like this is descending P wave resistance. Uh, the market has been resisted a couple of times before. Maybe this will be the Fibonacci bounce. I build up the confirmations. And if I can, if I find this is an entry timing, then I just go in before the break. And then the market goes like this way without retracement afterwards. So, yeah, especially in the 5 minute, again, the market spikes and the market tends to fake more than higher time frames. I don't wait for the breakouts, um, yeah, as always. I think, uh, yeah, but uh, I do wait for the breakout on higher time frames. Usually I wait for the break on the higher time frames, but uh, not so on the lower time frames. It's my answer. I hope you enjoyed this video and in last word I would like to add this one before ending the video today, and that is improve step by step every day 
and never try to be successful tomorrow. Because uh, oftentimes I see some traders comes to the forex market or in you know, other markets and they try to be successful as soon as possible. And that motivation is okay. But uh, if you rush to make profits, if you rush to achieve some goal, then uh, you may fail very quickly. Because success only comes based on this continuation of the step-by-step -step effort, step-by-step -step improvement every day. So success does not relate to how much you know about the trades, how much you know about the indicators or the markets. The success only comes from this improvement continuously, step by step. So, when you're losing, then look back your trace and look for the areas you can improve your trace. And even if it is successful, also look back your own successful trace and try to find an area to improve your trace. Maybe your profit might be a bit too early, or your break even timing might be a bit too early too. Or your stop loss was a bit too tight also so in both ways whether it's a losing trace or winning trace uh, please look back your own trace because that's the only way you can success in the long term so thank you for watching until the end if you liked it please press the like button and i will see you on the next one so until then please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold bye for now matane thank you